I'm delighted to be here with you this afternoon as the high-level champion for global climate action to represent our Honorable Prime Minister, Frank Benamarama, who unfortunately cannot be here with us because of other engagements at the opening of this specific Cornivia Pavilion here in Katowice. The Prime Minister does send his apologies for not being here himself, but uh, he has asked me to convey the warmest greetings and best wishes for the success of our joint effort over the next two weeks. The Pavilion is a unique Pacific partnership between the Fiji COP23 Presidency, New Zealand, and our Pacific regional organizations. And I want to thank you all who have worked so hard to make this uh, initiative possible, a temporary slice of the Pacific in the heart of Poland. It may be chilly outside, but I think we all have been stuck by the warmth of the Polish people and the welcome that they have given us. And we certainly intend to provide the warmest of Pacific welcomes to the many thousands of people who will be visiting us here in the coming days. The pavilion is being jointly managed by SPREP, the Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environment Program, and the Pacific Islands Forum Secretariat, the Pacific Community, and the Pacific Islands Development Forum. And I want to especially acknowledge all of these agencies for the great partnership we have all forged as we highlight the particular vulnerability of Pacific Islanders to climate change and spread the word about our collective and individual mitigation and adaptation efforts. We now have a level for all of you, for all, sorry, we now have a level for all you have done to assist our campaign and to highlight to the world how critical it is for us in the Pacific that global warming is kept within 1.5 degrees and that the world achieves net zero green gas emissions by 2050. A special thank you to the Government of New Zealand for your financial assistance and for the support of your staff that has made the, uh, this pavilion possible. We also thank you for your own commitment to the climate struggle, for truly standing shoulder to shoulder with your island neighbors especially under the government of Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, who we look forward to welcoming to Fiji in the coming months. For those of you who may be wondering where the word Cornivia comes from, it is the name of the place outside Suba, where for many years the Fijian government has had an agriculture, agricultural research and training station, and where many prominent Pacific agriculturists received their first training. So it is fitting that the Cornivia joint, sorry, that the Cornivia joint work plan on agriculture is named after this site, given its history in developing new innovations and strengthening capacities of small island developing countries. In uh, closing, I want to say that uh, while Fiji 
formally handed over the presidency of uh, COP to Poland today, we intend to continue to play a leading role in the climate struggle, and especially through the Talano dialogues that have been taking place all over the world and the ministerial roundtable that we will be having next week. I think we can all be proud as Pacific Islanders that our Talano concept of inclusive and respectful engagement to raise ambition has captured the imagination of the whole world. And it's certainly a wonderful legacy of the Fijian presidency. So with those words, ladies and gentlemen, I have the great uh, pleasure to welcome you all this afternoon and encourage you to actively engage in open and uh, constructive Talanoa over the next two weeks. Binobalebu, Jankoye, uh, and uh, thank you. Thank you, Honourable Minister, and to all of our representatives here for making our Pacific and Koronivia Pavilion possible at the heart of COP24 in Katowice.